about this specific lick that was happening somewhere in a video that I don't remember what it was about, but I'll find out what it was and I'll put a clip here. <laughs> but Sam Brooks and Johan were calling you that. Lau asked me if I would explain what I was doing here. So the genesis of this idea came from actually David Beebe who sent me uh, a little tab thing and said, can you look at this? Uh, if you haven't checked out David Beebe, he's got some really good lessons on Legato as well as obviously Tom Quayle. Um, those might be the first places that I might look if I was looking to get into this sort of stuff. Those guys have obviously got like a proper kind of syllabus and a proper course on this stuff if you're interested in it. Myself, I'm much more of a, a loose canon, obviously. Right, so the, the principle of this thing, we'll start this in kind of C minor and I'm on the 8th fret here. So we're thinking kind of 3 note per string stuff. <laughs> kind of thing. So the idea is we're going to play three notes on this first E string. So we're going to start C, D, E flat. And then we're going to jump up strings. So we're going to jump to the D string to this B flat. And we're going to descend using uh, an arpeggio. So it'll be like an E flat arpeggio there. And that's basically the idea of this lick. And you can just ascend the, the scale in that way if you want to. So just here's kind of the idea that I've been trying to kind of link this up around the fretboard. Um, so I'll tap this out for you. That's kind of me just playing around with that as an idea and what I'll do is I'll put together this as an exercise which takes you all through the fretboard so if we just start in this one position here and then you logically end up there so just once more a few kind of fingering issues that occur there especially as you get to like the G and B string so that's something to negotiate and spend time with it getting familiar with that um, I'm hybrid picking the top note so your right hand's a, a bit easier you could definitely pick that too and that bit's difficult To do is just take it on a string set at a time so you could go from the lowest point like and all the way up like that and it gets a little bit tricky on the, on these uh, lower higher lower higher strings that's all I was doing in that lick, sort of improvising around that idea. And you could, you know, mix this up pattern-wise, but that's what I'm practicing at the moment, or what I need to practice at the moment. Just take that concept through the scale. And get comfortable with that as a concept. doing just three notes up and to the seventh degree so you'll be ending up going kind of down one note but up an octave and then do whatever the diatonic arpeggio is back down um, and that's the 
basis of that lick that you saw there. So hopefully that might be interesting to at least Johan and Sam. And it's something that I'm going to be practicing and trying to get my head around and fingers around as well. So the tab for that will go up on my Patreon, obviously, and I'll put that backing track that I was playing with as well up there. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers.